The NYU Center for Global Initiatives funded this event, and we were able to invite an esteemed panel of uh, experts from all over the world. And bringing them together, we would form these multidisciplinary teams that were user-centered, that an individual disability could problem solve with a group of people, and everyone would bring their own expertise together. 50 participants of uh, interdisciplinary nature with clinicians and equipment providers and manufacturers all together in the same room to talk about uh, assistive technology and the importance of collaboration. And it makes the designers and, and builders, architects more sensitive to individual users and people within the world of education and, and rehabilitation being able to think and request things that are more technical. So it's like really teaching each other to think differently and to grow the circle large. I think for a result of this conference is more conversations and more relationships to come. We have this uh, workshop to discuss about uh, one of our specific child who has a uh, difficult to like use their mouse. This workshop group actually gave us quite good ideas and uh, also uh, people here link us to the uh, uh, students' uh, final project to help us maybe to find a final solution, which we think will be really, really helpful for this specific child. I think this experience is very impressive and gives me a lot of inspiration that how like technology can help and assist life. So a lot of things I didn't know before, especially the lectures by ITP professors and uh, by so many experts in the field. This kind of conferences is where we really collaborate and exchange ideas and that's what's the most valuable thing about this topic. The atmosphere of this event, I think, has been wonderful because people are really excited to talk to each other and um, to bring in people from many different places in the world who are looking at the same kinds of research and can share the kind of information that they um, can and also are really trying to solve real world problems for people. I, th I think everyone is feeling very inspired and everyone is feeling like it's the beginning of a conversation and we're hoping that we can do this again in the future.